What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chase. All right, so as you guys know, I'm leaning down, shredding down. My goal is to do a natural show, but we can't do a natural show with no definition. The hamstrings ain't peeled, and the glutes ain't defined. Might as well stay the fuck at home, because you'll get left behind. God damn it, Chris Jones. can't try to rhyme it. <laughs> I need to be a rapper or something. Fuck this bodybuilding shit. Now, I was going to go to my gym, guys. Give you a raw and death workout. But I'm a, you guys going to have to... I'm going to have to give you guys an IOU, man. I'm just fucking drained, man. If you're watching my vlogs, you'll see on my vlogs. I'm doing cardio morning and night. My carbs are low. I'm just not really in a mood to do a whole bunch of talking on the camera. I just want to get it in and get back in my bed, to be honest, man. So I hope y'all guys can understand that. I just appreciate the workout video, you feel me? We're gonna do a commentary. I'm gonna play some music and give you commentary. That way I ain't gotta talk. Denise gonna record my workout and I voice it over. And once I start feeling better, once all this cutting shit is done and I'm feeling like myself, I'll give you that raw and depth shit, okay? So before I start my workout, which is a horizontal base day, you know the thing about me, guys. My back training volume is stupid high. It, it would take me three hours to do my back workout. So two years ago, I started doing vertical days and horizontal days. That way I have the perfect balance of thickness and width. So if you get my downloadable programs at getholeready.com, like the push pull leg program, the classic physique program. I believe it even the four days on, one day off program, I incorporate that mindset, you know, a vertical base day, horizontal base day. So before I start my workout, I'm warming up with pull ups. I'm gonna do three sets here. Now I'm gonna go three sets here. Come in, baby. Three sets here. Three sets here. Three sets here, and then three sets here. Four different angles, just to warm up. Keep in mind, I'm a bad motherfucker. Pull-ups aren't even hard for me. This is just giving my time for the pre-workout to kick in and to warm me up. And also, I feel like you gotta have calisthenics in your programming if you want the perfect balance for the seat, because I feel like calisthenics like dips, push-ups, lunges, it's going to give you that flexibility and muscularity that weightlifting alone cannot give you. Just look at gymnasts. Look how muscular, look at their serratus muscles, look at all those little detailed muscles. They get that because they master their body. So I would never steer away from pull-ups and dips and push-ups and walking lunges and shit like that. It's going to give you a quality of physique and you won't be all stiff. Don't forget to stretch as well. We'll talk about stretching later. Also, don't forget, just grind. Go to getholeready.com and get yours. I'm wearing a medium because I'm skinny as fuck right now. <laughs> and that's the only way I can make the shit hug is wear a fucking medium. I fucking ugh, hate the shit. I got new colors coming soon. Thank you to everybody that supported me and Denise. We really appreciate you guys, man. Let's get started. All right, homies and homies, if you're new to the channel, you should already know the drill for the people that have been here a while. Full routine is written at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. Try at your own risk, just fucking around. But yeah, man, high volume, you know how it gets down. <clears throat> so, as, you, as I told you guys earlier, start off the workout with some pull-ups. Great way to warm up maintain my natural strength and flexibility and it gives a little time for that pump and grind pre-workout to kick in. Go ahead and get that pump and grind pre-workout. Link to Pump Chaser Subs is in the description and like I said earlier, I do three sets each hand position to really get a variety of angles to hit as many muscle fibers in the back as possible. You want that 3D knots, muscle popping effect in your back. You gotta do a different variation of movements from different angles, man. The back has so 
so many muscle fibers in it. It is ridiculous, man. You gotta hit them, man. Funny, man. That try to talk shit because I know we all gotta start somewhere. Some motherfuckers can't even make it past that warm up. That was nothing. And believe it or not, some people can't even do a couple pull ups with their body weight. Guys, never neglect the basics, okay? That was just a fucking warm up. Now we're getting started. Now we're about to fuck up these weights. I'm about to show you how to get a fucking back. Deep, striated, defined back. Follow me to the gym, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna jump off this workout with a traditional workout, rows for the hoes. Now, you have not seen me do this in quite some time because remember back when I hurt my back? What was that, about four months ago, four and a half months ago? My lower back was so fucking tight, I couldn't even fucking do them. I even made a video, go watch it, how to train your back with a bad lower back, giving you alternatives you can do if you can't do movements like this. Now, my back is good, as you see, so I'm back to the good shit. Decided to go ahead and pyramid, right? Started off with one plate for 20 reps, added a quarter, got about 15, added a 10 to that, as you see, got it for about 12. Then I did two plates, which is 225, for about 10 reps. And then you're about to see in just a moment, I did a final set with two plates and a 10, that's 245 pounds. And decide to go ahead and get a drop set. Now check this out, guys. Like I told you guys many times, I'm not a real big fan of all uh, super high rep training, going for the pump and all that bullshit. Natural lifters need to make the foundation of their training heavy, especially when you're cutting, right? So to get more reps in, what I like to do is either I do a lot of pyramiding, that way I get a good balance of high reps with some low reps, or I do drop sets. Drop sets is another great way to get more reps in your training without coming to the gym doing 50% of your one rep max, light ass fucking weight. Fuck that. We keep it heavy, man. I believe 60 to 75% of your one rep max. Rep that shit out. Keep your dents, keep your thick. On this final set of bent over parallel grip rows, I did a, tri I did a triple drop set. Did 50 pounds. Then I do 40 pounds, and then I do 30 pounds. That's a final set, triple drop set. And as you see, the palms are facing each other. I'm really focused on that mid upper back. Notice I'm going nice and slow, retracting the scapula. Don't gotta go heavy on this movement at all, trust me. All right, so here we are about to do a super set. Now, if you get my programs, you know I love dumbbell pullovers, and I love cable pullovers, right? Dumbbell pullovers is a great way to hit that serratus and get a great stretch in those lats, right? But the cable pullovers is a great way in reverse. It's a great way to get a contraction in the lats, but a stretch and a pull in the serratus. So, fuck it. Let's do both. Why not get the best of both worlds? I want you to Google all through YouTube. Show me one motherfucker that superset needs together. Ain't nobody training like me, man. Anyway, yeah, we're supersetting dumbbell pullovers with straight arm cable pullovers. Let's get it. All right, now we're doing one arm dumbbell rows. Notice how I picked the back apart. I just don't come to the gym like a chicken with my head off, running all over the place. I come through with a blueprint in my mind and I execute that shit beautifully. Notice how I started with the upper back with the rows, then upper mid back. Then I hit the lats one at a time. Now I'm doing close grip T-bar rows to hit the lats together with both hands at the same time, but it's also gonna hit a little bit of those lower traps. All right, and I'm using 25 pounds on the close grip T-bar rows. Like I said many times in older videos, using 25s is gonna give you an extra couple of inches range of motion. That's going to help bring out that Christmas tree effect because you're really able to get more range of motion and go deep into those back fibers. That way you get more detail. All right, so like I said, I started with upper back. Then I went into the upper mid back. Then I hit my lats one at a time. Now I'm hitting my lats both arms together and 
as you see right there, the lower traps are being engaged. See, sometimes uh, you don't guys are no fucking talking. Let the muscles do the talking. You can clearly see the lats and the lower traps being engaged. All right. So on the final set of these, I did three sets. I started with six twenty-fives, then I did seven, then I did eight, which is the third and final set right here. And since I only did three sets, I like to keep everything about four sets. So since I only did three sets. I stripped that shit down. I just kept stripping it till I felt like I had enough. Like I told you, I'm not a high rep, lightweight motherfucker. But to get more reps, we will do some drop sets or we will do some pyramids to get the reps in. That way we don't compromise our lifts. We still keep it heavy. All right. And this right here is the final exercise, final super set. I'm doing seated cable rows, but I'm standing up. Right? And as you see, I'm leaning slightly forward on the way down, and then I come up on the way back. This is really good for the lower lats. Keep in mind, guys, I have low lat insertions, so I must target my lower lats. If you got super high lat insertions, you probably, to be honest, don't even got to worry about this shit. But I have very low lat insertions, therefore I got to work them bitches. Super setting this shit with some traps. Heavy barbell shrugs, because after all, the traps is coming back. There it is. As you see, that was my horizontal-based workout. What do you think? I know the volume is ridiculous, but let me tell you something. Yes, the volume is high. Look at my fucking back. That's not just that's not some cocky shit. You want a great back, put in the fucking work. You want an average back, then don't put in the work. As simple as that. The back makes up over 25% of your whole body. It's responsible for your silhouette, your shadow. You know your shadow? You want that shadow to be like this? This motherfucking back gotta be thick and massive, so you gotta put in the work. It's not like doing some small muscle like the biceps. Back takes time, which is why I split my back workouts in vertical and horror. Just imagine if I had to do all that shit I just did today, then do the wide grip pull downs and a one on one pull down. I'll be in this gym forever, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I split it up. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you think you learned something, and you want to see my vertical day, comment below. I need, on my last workout, what video was that, man? The video where I told you guys, um, when I showed you guys the one on pull down, you guys showed me so much love. You gave me 5,000 likes for that tip. You give me 5,000 likes for this video right here. I will go to the gym on my next back day. If not my next back day, the one after that. <laughs> and I will record my vertical base day. Keep my, my vertical workout is completely different than this one. You want to see it? Give me 5,000 likes. Let me know how much you appreciate this video. And guys, I don't care how tired I am. I'll make that happen for you, okay? As you see, punch this gym bag, man. Go get you one at punches.com. Heavy duty and ain't no pretty boy shit. Real deal. So you really about that working out shit? Heavy, your arms too tired from curls? You can put it in your back like this. You wanna be on some flash shit? You put it here. I keep my knee sleeves, my belts, my pre-workout, everything in this bitch. This is a heavy duty, but heavy duty motherfuckers. Go get you one. Also socks coming soon, so I'm a socks. These are just the... Yeah, this is the sound samples. order. We got some new shit coming. Be looking out for new things, guys. Sorry for the lack of restocks. You know, just a lot of shit been going on, and I haven't really been pushing the brand like I'm supposed to. Not making any excuses. We know we don't make excuses here. I fucked up, but I want to make it up to you guys. Thank you for my supporters who've been supporting me, man. And now that's it, man. As you know, if you watch my vlogs, I got a treadmill at home. So I'm going to go home, do my cardio, and I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, buy 30 of them bitches, cause bro needs them treats, and the baby gonna need them diapers when she get here. I'm gonna get your boy. Say it again, I will not be out of work, and anybody can challenge me. May I push the weight? I will not be out of work, let anybody hurt. Moment of silence! We need a moment of silence before we fuck up these weights. <laughs>
Miami Bob.